Trial begins for a woman accused of violently stabbing her friend to death. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kiana Burks. We still do not know what led up to the murder. Adam Sullivan was in court for today's opening statements, and we want to warn you, some of the details are graphic. Prosecutors say Kara Rodriguez stabbed the victim more than 100 times, then dumped her body off a logging road in Wardsboro. But the defense argues that the evidence just doesn't add up. We thank you for your service here. The prosecution began Wednesday's trial by telling the jury that it would have been Emmy Bascom's 45th birthday. The Guilford woman's body was found off a rural logging road in Wardsboro in 2022, near where Rod Riggs was living at the time. Defendant, Kara Rod Riggs, murdered her by stabbing her over 100 times. Rod Riggs and Bascom had only known each other for a few weeks, but they were already known to police. The two were spotted in this vehicle on the morning of Bascom's death after Rod Riggs nearly died from a fentanyl overdose. Later on that day, that same car was found near the murder scene with red-brown stains on the sides. Prosecutors say Rod Riggs also asked the man she was staying with if she could borrow a cart to move what she told him was a carcass. That's just some of the evidence prosecutors say links Rod Riggs to the murder. They find defendant's shirt with reddish-brown stains on it, and they find uh, Emmy's purse in a burn barrel. Multiple members of the state police will be called to testify, but Rod Riggs' lawyer says the evidence does not point to his client. The physical evidence, the forensic evidence, the photographic evidence. We also do not know what led up to the fatal stabbing. A motive for the crime has not yet been offered. That evidence will tell the story that will leave you convinced beyond a reasonable doubt. Tara Rodrigues is innocent of harming her friend. Approximately two dozen witnesses will be called for the trial, which is scheduled to last two weeks. Rodrigues has been in jail since her first arrest. If convicted, she faces the possibility of life behind bars. Reporting from Brattleboro, Adam Sullivan, Channel 3 News.